Sports. You are watching Local 4, home of ClickOnDetroit.com. WDIV Local 4 News at 5 starts now. I'm Roger Weber. It's a Detroit landmark, something on the other side of this window that people have been looking at for about a half century, and it's about to go. That story coming up. Uh, too often, uh, are we seeing pieces of Detroit history being taken down or left to rot away? Uh, unfortunately, next week, another landmark is going to fall, and here's Roger Weber to tell you about it. I'm Roger Weber. It's a Detroit landmark, something on the other side of this window that people have been looking at for about a half century, and it's about to go. That story, coming up. Well, holding on to history is certainly important, and in Detroit, though, we've seen an ongoing debate about whether you should get rid of historic landmarks that have fallen into disrepair. Yeah, and now the change is the iconic Yellow Pages sign on the former Michigan Bell Building, but there is a positive side to this story. Local 4's Roger Weber has more. The Yellow Pages sign has been a landmark along the Lodge Freeway for about 50 years. How long since you've used this kind of phone? Next week, the sign will be gone, but the old Bell Building is nearing a new chapter in Detroit. We've been working on this project now between three and four years. Sheila Clay runs the Neighborhood Service Organization, which will open 155 apartments here for the homeless. Once they sign the lease, they won't be homeless anymore, and this will be their home. It's not transitional housing, it's permanent housing. And this $50 million project will make possible a variety of services here. Mental health services, addiction treatment. We would have a fitness center here for them, a gym, a computer lab. The structure was built in 1929. We walked to the ninth floor for a look at the supporting structure beneath the sign. Why can't it stay? From a structural standpoint, there are significant concerns about how safe the sign is. And the sign gets in the way of masonry work. The NSO has tried to find a new owner, but nobody wants a sign that's 32 feet by 48 feet. There was actually a museum in South Dakota, the National Neon Light Museum, uh, which expressed interest, but even for them, it was too big. The renovated building will open in phases before completion late next year. So the old Yellow Pages sign is about to become a memory. But because the NSO runs a crisis line, it's going to save that big old white rotary dial phone that will be displayed here on the property somewhere. In Detroit, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4. Oh, I hate to see it going. Well, things go through that stage when, for you know, but between being really sort of antique and cool, <laughs> then there's that moment where it just sort of looks Somebody out of date. Somebody probably would want that, but it's so huge. But they're going to yeah. save the phone, yeah, so that's exactly right. Something small.